And so I'm just asking, are you ever going to bring, bring hypersonic back? Go. Essentially, the reason that they don't do hypersonic as much anymore is because they were worried that if they kept introducing new forms, it was going to get eerily similar to a certain Japanese anime in which <laughs> Ken, 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 like, and, they, and they didn't want to go down that road. But you can't do this to me. I, I have to say generic things, but I think you understand. That's why you yeah, don't see I it do. uh, coming back. I understand. Back. Yep, so that's why. Thank, very good question. Thank you. But Sonic is shonen. Sonic does not take any inspiration from American filth. He's always been a hedgehog Goku, as he should be. Jizuka. You slime! I have no money. Is Sonic a really big fan of Dragon Ball Z? I don't think so. So he's never taken any inspiration from Goku? Yeah, it is close. You're lying! I swear! Sonic the Hedgehog is a stupid twat who was produced in Sega's grimy lab in Japan. Sonic has become undoubtedly one of the most recognisable characters ever, and one of the main reasons for that is Sega wanting to pursue a mascot that was going to be a big hit in America, as the former president of Sega of Japan, Hayao Nakayama, declared to all his staff working at Sega at the time. Although success in Japan was obviously still a priority for Sega, it was concluded that an attractive American property would still be appealing in Japan. The ways they made Sonic a big success in America will be detailed later, but the point of this video really is to undermine the view that Sonic the Hedgehog is a shonen character. Well, he is shonen, but it's complicated. It all boils down to the fact that the hive mind of the Sonic community doesn't actually understand what shonen is. So the result is we get stupid takes which claim Sonic was initially a super epic Dragon Ball Z knockoff to becoming a Saturday morning cartoon show for babies. And in my opinion, I don't know which option would be worse. Let's have a look at the definition of shonen to truly determine which depiction of Sonic is a lovable shonen protagonist and which iterations are not staying true to his character. It says here that shonen is a genre of Japanese comics, animated film aimed primarily at a young male audience, typically characterised by action filled plots. So this admittedly broad term means every single incarnation of Sonic is shonen, even the forbidden meta error. I hate to break it to you, but Sonic Colors is just as shonen as Sonic Adventure 2. To prove to you just how broad shonen as a genre is, Dragon Ball, a series about mystical adventures and martial arts, is just as shonen as a mystery and suspense thriller like Death Note. Although 90% of shonens have something to do with epic fights, Shonen as a genre isn't defined by being like Dragon Ball. Then again, it wouldn't surprise me if Dark Age fans would legitimately want to see a scene like this in a Sonic game. Hey, wait up! Battle, look out! Where is you slowing down? That would require breaks. Please, hold your applause. All this shows is that Sonic fans literally have no idea what they're talking about when they say Sonic should return to Shonen, as every piece of media Sonic's been in is Shonen. I mean, it's not really surprising as Sonic fans are notoriously known for being stupid, delusional, and bloody losers. Now that we've clarified what Shonen actually means, what do Sonic fans mean by Shonen? Well, just taking a glance at any Sonic fan discourse on this topic, Shonen is really just used as a buzzword to try and win an internet argument. Sonic fans just throw that word into the mix and cry about how the meta era isn't shonen and point to stuff like the Dark Age and then scream and shout about how the series should always be this way. Despite the fact that the Google definition would include the meta era as shonen. This is probably because a notable magazine that publishes shonen stories is Shonen Jump which includes sh like Dragon Ball. So Sonic fans just correlate shonen to ultra hardcore sh like Dragon Ball Z despite the fact that if people actually watch Dragon Ball, they'd realise that Dragon Ball isn't just about the fights, but it also has a unique sense of humour that actually mocks shonen tropes. For example, the Elder Kai gives his life to resurrect Goku. It's initially treated as a super serious moment, but it's revealed that Goku and the Elder Kai just traded a halo and everything's honky-dory. Now, if a simple joke like that happened in Sonic, I could tell you lads would be up in arms and you'd tweet about it every day of your pathetic existence. This, in combination with the fact that the Dark Age was more anime inspired, with all those freaky bastards as final bosses, Sonic fans have morphed the term from being about a demographic to just being like anime. But is Sonic fans' misinformed view of Shonen Sonic a good interpretation? No. Sonic and company are just plain cardboard cutouts that either have nothing interesting to say or do, 
or they are the corniest bunch of morons in the world. Sonic in 06 has no good lines at all. He sits around and just reacts to what other people say without any of the attitude. Don't be late. Don't be late? What the f***? Where is Sonic in Don't Be Late, read with the sternest line delivery? I see the defence that the later Jason Griffith Sonic is a more matured version of the previous Sonics, but the more mellowed out personality isn't as memorable or appealing as any of the previous incarnations. I'm surprised Sonic was too strong to lose himself in Unleashed because to me, he's just a diluted version of what came before. Even the earlier Jason Griffith performances still had a little bit of attitude. Sonic is a f***ing jerk, but he still cares about others. So make him that way. Here, he's just a generic goody two-shoes that leaves no impact. I'm actually glad Sonic Colors shook up Sonic and his stories, and while Colors story too is complete shit, I'm glad it took us away from whatever this was. Ironically, the games Sonic fans point to for being shonen were made with Westerners in mind. Shadow the Hedgehog, for example, was inspired by Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank, both made by American studios. And when creating Sonic 06's story, Yuji Naka noted, When Marvel or DC Comics turn their characters into film, they are thinking of them as blockbusters, huge hits, and that's what we were trying to emulate with Sonic. In addition, the term Shonen Sonic often comes along with a statement, Sonic is heavily inspired by Dragon Ball, then they ignore all of the American influences, using that to paint the image on why Sonic has always been Shonen and why he should remain it. Obviously, Sonic is heavily inspired by Dragon Ball. For example, in this concept art, Super Sonic is in the same pose as Super Saiyan Goku. The special stages in Sonic 3 are based on King Kai's planet, and of course there's the Chaos Emeralds. These similarities are what leads to those fan animations. Nazo Unleashed is literally just a bootlegged version of Fusion Reborn. But people are forgetting about the fact that Sonic's personality is based off Bill Clinton. He wears Michael Jackson boots with a Santa Claus colour scheme. His overall design is inspired by rubber hose cartoons, and he battles Teddy Roosevelt piloting a Death Star. Even stuff like the level design was made to complement the East's want for a more casual experience, and the West's desire for more of a challenge. A little known fact is that Oshima actually focus tested in New York to discover which character would be most appealing to Americans. He had an egg-shaped human character, a hedgehog character, and a dog character. The hedgehog was the favourite by a landslide, so Ushima thought that the hedgehog would be able to appeal to everyone, no matter of race, culture, sexual orientation, or political allegiance. How wholesome. So Sonic isn't just Japanese, he's a melting pot of cultures. Now, some may say that actually the classic games prove that Sonic has always been shonen, probably because they equate the Sonic CD intro to Dragon Ball Z, as the lads that animated the CD intro also animated Dragon Ball Z. But that doesn't really make him shonen. There is some Sonic media that's anime, but that doesn't really make Sonic himself a shonen character. I've also seen people say the environments look like something out of Dragon Ball, and yeah, I guess, because of the Sonic 3 special stages being inspired by King Kai's planet. But it's been confirmed that Green Hill Zone is inspired by California. However, as Dragon Ball and Sonic do share a lot of similarities, a lot of people who grew up with Sonic get into Dragon Ball. God, I'm fucking sad. And anyways, even in the 90s, he felt way more American than he did Japanese. It's no surprise Sonic is way more popular in the West, since the rebellious attitude was meant to appeal to young American kids from around 12 years old and under. That's why you, viewing this video right now, became a Sonic fan in the first place, because it just seemed so cool to you as a child. The target demographic of Sonic was you, you stupid American twat. Of course, at heart, Sonic was Japanese first and foremost. That's why Sonic still had to be heavily altered for an American audience. And while by 1999, the Japanese continuity won out, Sonic in the Adventure era still had pieces of him that radiated a filthy yank smell. In fact, Yuji Uakara wrote, when you print a cute Japanese styled character like Doraemon on a t-shirt, it will look very childish and most adults won't wear it. But a western cartoon character like Mickey Mouse doesn't look unnatural on an adult's t-shirt. What we try to do is to lean the Sonic character design towards a western design art style, rather than the typical cute or kawaii style that is more Japanese, to aim for a more adult and cool American style of expression to enhance its international appeal. So, what have we learnt today? We have learnt that Sonic fans need to get their sh** together and only start using words that they fully understand. Shonen does not mean be like Dragon Ball. 
it's a genre or demographic. The iteration of Sonic that's referred to as Shonen is boring, and erasing the Western elements would, if anything, actually hurt the brand of Sonic, as Sonic was always meant to cater to Western audiences. The character of Sonic was never supposed to be some kind of do-good as Shonen protagonist, but rather a dude with attitude.